like and subscribe don't forget to like and subscribe it just helps me and also if you have any question or comment about anything let me know so today in this video i'm gonna kind of go over robin hood legend i just got access like a few days ago and i wanted to make a video um i haven't no, i have not really using robin hood for a while but i think this is very powerful tool and it can really like whoever use robin hood it can really help you right so as you know right you are uh, basically other platform has really powerful desktop app or um, you know like standalone app like uh, 3d emitted um, they had uh, think a swim really powerful and there are a lot of other options right robin hood never had like kind of desktop uh, for active trader so i think this is finally in the market called robin hood legend and uh, this is uh, this seems like a web app uh, this is not a standalone app i don't know if they plan to make a standalone app later on but this is web uh, kind of web app and if you basically go here uh, it will basically kind of look like this kind of empty but you can basically choose a lot of the layouts or uh, a lot of, or you can actually create right add widgets and if you do the add widgets it's it's gonna come up like hey you can have a watch list right so basically if you have a watch list this is i don't know like this was default but you can add whatever you're watching for example if you're watching tesla kind of do tesla right and i don't know if you do trade it's gonna pop up right buy sell and uh, pretty cool right so i cannot sell I, I guess like i need to have a tesla i don't have it but basically you can do buy sell right there right and uh, you can also uh, kind of customize i think what you can see but you can kind of see uh, bid ask volumes and a lot of other things right so if you want to do customized columns you can actually remove or kind of add for example quantity market cap if you want to see or if you want to see pe uh, for maybe a long-term investor even earning date uh, average volume initial margin so a lot of the lot of a uh, lot of right whatever you wanna and if you wanna remove you can just remove for example if you don't care about, care about net change so you can customize however you want right so uh, if you don't want that's it then it just uh, you can see that you have PE market cap uh, if you uh, if all you care about is this it is right there so this is pretty cool um, so definitely I wanna see uh, last uh, and I think you can arrange too if you want to see for example uh, last first then maybe you want to see change percent um, and you want to see change percent after last you can drag and uh, kind of arrange too so that's fine and also the name it says dividend but you can change it to whatever right uh, my uh, daily watch list uh, so basically you can see that you can just do whatever and if you want to keep adding whatever you want to add uh, there's more uh, for example if you wanna you care about microsoft you can add microsoft and um, you can do that right so this is really cool tool so you can kind of customize this is a watch list and uh, charts right so if you kind of uh, care about maybe a chart uh, uh, or your project positions like what are the positions you have or your recent order what are the recent order or option chains um, so if you want to look at the option chain um, Tesla and you can change it right there so one thing is really a cool thing I like about it you can actually increase the real estate so you can make it like whatever you want right so uh, for example if you care about options and you're looking at uh, I don't know like Tesla uh, so Tesla you have this right it's expiring in three days and uh, I guess if you want to change it yep uh, wherever right so I do have a two contracts for 115 days but if I want to change it or uh, look something right so if i'm looking for a leap i can look at like let's say uh, 365 plus so december 25 so you can see that right there so right now uh, 258 and if i want to buy let's say 250 uh, this is a call option and you can see the price 66 95 to 6 bid and ask right so there's a quite a spread but um, 40 cents but you can see that and if i want to buy like bid this one uh, yeah so basically i mean you can ch change it here so that was buy to open but here and you can choose a limit market or stop limit whatever you want uh, since i don't have 6700 i have a, a 3000 in buying power of course it's not gonna execute but uh, pretty and you can move around right so you can move around so that's how you can actually do the options uh, so what is this okay 
in here it's you have the options like number of strikes right right now it's showing six one two three four five six but you can do 24 and it just instantly updated right so if i want a six that's six and you can do all seems like uh, well, that's going to be huge but you can literally do from five uh, whatever the available you can do that so i'm just going to stick with six here and also these two expirations you are seeing here but if you want to see something less than 30 days it's going to do just so so you can kind of customize so you have this filter that's pretty cool and uh, uh, customize column same as before uh, you can customize column for example whatever you want to see percentages break even delta gamma theta rho vega bit size arc size everything whatever you want to see you can kind of select and also you can arrange right so if you want to arrange it uh, like up or down however you want so very customizable according to your needs so that's pretty cool right and if you want to don't want this widget just you can just delete it and it's gone right and uh, same thing uh, and account summary you can see your whatever the your account summary your account and how much you are up um, and chart I think I'm gonna kind of spend the rest of the time in chart right so chart is the same thing so chart uh, what do you want to kind of uh, see uh, like which which ticker you want to see what do you want to do so pretty pretty powerful now so I'm gonna delete this uh, my uh, I just want to have more real estate for my chart uh, so let's do this and okay. okay and i'm just gonna do this uh, uh. yep and now i have it right so uh this is tesla i just it just i don't know if it's defaulting me to tesla but let's look at the apple right so uh, uh apple is up uh, tesla seems like a down so let's actually look at the test lab, right? So as you see that here you have the ticker, you can basically kind of select whatever you are doing it. And it's showing like what's the dollar amount down and uh, the percent uh, for today, right? And you can actually buy from here too. You can literally buy the same uh, same pop-ups comes. Um, sell is disabled since I don't have any Tesla. So I guess you cannot draw sell, at least in my account. But here you can see that today's open, high, low, uh, is it today's or uh, maybe the recent bar not sure but you have the volume and all the information right and if you go down if the bottom you can see that here you can see like if you want to see let's say if I want to see daily uh, you are in the daily chart so if you want to go weekly you can do a weekly chart and if you want to see monthly you can see that too right so uh, yeah oh okay this is the time you want to see I guess so that's I'm um, this is all time for Tesla, right? So let's say if I do one year and daily, that's a kind of one year daily, right? Uh, so that's good. So if I wanna see uh, three months, uh, that's three months, one month. So it's just basically doing uh, one month, three months, like whatever the intervals you are looking for. So uh, if, if you do uh, year, year to date, uh, year to date. Now this is for, uh, if I change some, uh, so if I change this, uh, it just kind of uh, keeps where you are. Uh, so uh, basically like I had the same settings daily for year to date. I, I changed a little bit, but you can kind of hover around change and do, um, do whatever you want. Here you can see market or you can see your portfolio performance, like whatever it's doing, it's gonna show up or down. Now that's there, right? That's a time um, and seems like there's auto scale so you can actually enable or disable this auto scale uh, so it will scale automatically or not now let's look at the charting feature right so line so if you want to do trend line uh, pretty good right so trend line you can do manual trend line it will have some options like uh, different options but if you want to create a trend line for example here uh, and uh, uh, that's it you hover over uh, trend line pretty pretty neat right so trend line is there uh, same thing if you want to do um, seems like you have to do gun uh, if you want to do this uh, instead of trend channel right so if you want to see where this channel is going right so if you want to see a channel uh, seems like you have to do here so up channel and this gonna do this right so is this in the channel right so uh, 
you know this is not in a perfect channel but you can kind of see it like it's been kind of making channel for from september or uh, sometime in august right in this channel if you want to delete it it's easy just kind of click a delete that's all i think you can lock it too if you don't want so same thing right so um, yeah horizontal line so if you want to do it just go there and uh, click on horizontal line same thing uh, if you want to do a vertical line right so if you want to do vertical line same thing whatever you want to do just let's say whatever reasons right so vertical fine so uh, kind of looking at support and resistance you can do that uh, same thing you have a lot of other options you can do dotted line dashed of course and uh, choose the color as well and uh, if you want, if you are looking for there's an info line i i really like this so info line is if you are looking for let's say hey I think I'm gonna go long in this and my target is basically previous all-time high right so um, you can kind of see if you have a horizontal line so uh, you can see here and if you look at here uh, this kind of tells you like hey those are 16 bars this is already happened but you can actually do for the future too um, basically it won't say 16 bars well it will say 16 bars I guess like it, it's kind of calculated every day but it's basically 16 bar 22 days and 10% up right so if you are doing options or even stocks you can kind of see what's your stops and all those things right so that's pretty cool uh, yeah uh, so you can kind of play around this uh, and uh, same thing you have a rectangle right so uh, for for uh, support and resistance I I like rectangle rather than just the cause it's an always an area so you can actually do that right so this is the this is basically previous uh, support here and it kind of went really bad I think this was an M, M carry thing uh, but it, it it bounced back I did pretty well but as you can see that right so you can do that uh, similarly you have um, yeah um, horizon uh, oh we were here so rectangle you can do oval too or whatever you want the other thing is Fibonacci right so if you want to do Fibonacci retracement pretty cool choose the point and uh, basically here right so you can see that that's 76 61 golden 50% uh, right so if you're doing uh, pretty good it, it's just color coded and it's, it's there uh, so if you want to I, I just did control G but you can just kind of delete and it works too same thing so you have a Fibonacci kind of play around with this and also if you want to text or arrow or you know like you want to do a path like for example something like this I'm going this this uh, this right so you can actually do uh, I'm like lost uh, maybe I'm not doing uh, so let's let's play around with the path yeah so I think it, once you double click it just sets so this is the path right so you are if you are kind of drawing a diagram kind of showing making a video like how to do that you can actually do that and what else uh, what is this this is minimized okay full screen I think you could do full screen too so that's pretty cool so you could uh, you have a lot more real estate right and uh, you can just do skip to uh, get the uh, get get whatever you want so pretty much those are for uh, basically you can do text price call out I'm not gonna go over everything right so you can do delete Tesla drawing or delete all drawings will delete everything right so uh, yeah and that's pretty cool and the other thing is let's do delete uh, delete all drawings so yeah it deleted all the drawings now the other thing is function just we have this is basically indicator right so if you want to do indicator so you can see add indicators and you have basically a lot of the indicator so let's say I want to do the uh, I don't know, simple moving average right so simple moving average kind of defaulted right and let's say I want to do another simple moving average simple moving average so I have I have 50 days 100 days and uh, if you want to modify this to uh, length 100 instead of 100 if you want to do 150 days you can do that or you can create uh, you know uh, 
and of course choose your color uh, so let's say this one right uh, so yeah now you can see that right so this was a clearly a downtrend for Apple then we just kind of started right uh, my uh, short term uh, short term moving average is above the long term moving average so kind of uh, uptrend right so you can easily do whatever the indicator for example if you want to do uh, something like Bollinger Band or something right so you can just click and it is there you can see that right overextended kind of pull back then went back right there right so Bollinger band is there so whatever is your indicator it's you can do that I don't think you can write your own yet I don't know if they have options but uh, ATR range uh, so there's like VWAP if you want to do VWAP uh, kind of for day trading if you are doing you can do VWAP I'm gonna remove this if you want to remove it just remove it uh, then uh, yeah but you can add the indicator like they have uh, pretty much RSI if you want to add RSI will come below so basically overbought really we had a bounce a huge bounce um, after that actually right we are kind of in the overbought and uh, seems like we might be going for a correction if uh, RSA is the thing so similarly like you can uh, you can basically kind of play around and uh, they don't have a lot but I think I'm pretty sure they will add indicator and I'm also sure they will probably let you basically create your own indicator in the futures uh, save as a new template okay so you can save as a new template so basically uh, if I do my template name like uh, uh, as a indicators uh, and okay so basically I can apply those uh, template I guess so if I go here uh, indicator and oh, okay so I can actually apply this one okay that's that's pretty cool so I don't have to if I go to chart to chart I can just use that and it's gonna come up right same thing here you can do candles you can do line you can do bars like whatever you prefer uh, so you can do this bar if you are into the bars or um, kind of area uh, I can ask you whatever right so basically um, whatever you prefer you can choose that and of course uh, you can look for either extender or on off uh, open orders basically gonna show you if you have open orders and open position it's gonna show you your position too so basically you can set here for example I think I have one Apple stock so if I do open positions and on it's gonna show oh I have this one uh, yeah, and it's at six dollar profit and actually I think you could even do that like hey if it goes here uh, Basically sell at this you can actually create right sell Apple uh, The limit price of course 171 we are at 233 uh, So I can actually do 271 right and my order is submitted so uh, whenever uh, it goes there it will basically sell so yeah that's all pretty much right so that's all pretty much but uh, yeah other things I kind of forgot what you can actually have start from the scratch is basically kind of you starting this empty and building out or um, or what you can do is uh, basically click here and start a template right so if you start from a template you will see a few templates for example if you are stock trading it will have basically your whatever and option trading will show the option uh, so uh, same thing right if you are doing position analysis you are looking at your positions uh, chart spotlight basically kind of looking at the chart and uh, yeah uh, my watch list and Amazon uh, so based on this you can actually get uh, uh, whatever you know like uh, uh, and you can save and all right so you can always do that but uh, yeah but uh, you can just choose the template you want and they have about uh, market to uh, track the market or an industry across eight charts so you can have even eight charts too so uh, if you are kind of looking at your positions or if you are trading too and you want to see you know like maybe uh, SPY how is SPY doing is right so uh, uh, you can actually see SPY there and uh, let's say uh, QQQ if you are trading QQQ or 
uh, if you want to just look at the general mark market trend right or oh, QQQ is doing pretty good and uh, you know uh, kind of go from there so there's a lot of options here uh, seems like you can do uh, select from quite a templates I'm sure they will kind of add template and customize but if you go to the options trading if you go it's gonna show your position uh, if you want to delete it you can delete it pretty easy uh, then uh, this is just the just the chart but uh, you just have the templates and you can kind of play around with it yeah that's it for now if you have any question or comment let me know but other than that have a great day and thank you uh, don't forget to like and subscribe